Fuck it, baby, we're live. What's up, everyone? We're back in the booth. Uh, no headphones. No well, headphones. Can't so find them. So really yeah. hope the sound's not fucked up Going on this wild one. Wild west on this one. But if it is, hey, suck my fucking dick. You know. Oh, Will Smith on it. <laughs> wiki wow, wiki wiki wow, wiki wow. Wild wild breath. Before you get mad about me eating on the show, I'm not. I'm just finishing up some Chinese food I had from yesterday. <laughs> That's what eating. What is, is that? A no, dumpling? no, it's not. It's from yesterday. So it's like, oh, so it's fine. Well, it's, it's it's, not, you ate yesterday. They don't I'm like just you saying, eating I'm, new food. I'm just saying, I, I'm having. I'm just finishing something up from yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, that makes sense. I'm not. You're not eating. I'm not. Well, it's not like a new. Yeah, it's not a new meal. I'm not having. I didn't like. Start eating. Cook something you. Mm-mm, not. No. I'm just wrapping. I was just wrapping something up from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy because you weren't eating for probably the 40 minutes we've been here. Seemed like a good opportunity to have dumplings. Well, I just I wanted to just finish something up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? I just had something I got to take care yeah, of. Yeah, you just had to finish it up. No, I, I get that. Finish. I get that. That makes sense. Um, <clears throat> so we're back. I'm back from Ca- California. Mm. Arnold style. Arnold style. California. California, yeah. California. That's California. Arnold, baby. Arnold. Oh, yeah, dude. Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> Personal hero of mine. Arnold, I don't know about you guys. Schwarz, Schwarz, you know, in German, that, that no. means no, say. No, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> well, in German, it actually it means say the N word. <laughs> no, it doesn't mean say the N word. Schwarz is like also. The it whole. It's just yeah. double. People pointed that out before, Double the N word, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is fun. If you're going to have the N word in your name. Mm-hmm. Don't pussyfoot around it. Go yeah. double N word. <clears throat> Although Germans hated Jews in the first part, isn't that the N word in Hebrew? He's Austrian or mm-hmm. whatever. It's in Yiddish, which Yiddish? is kind of German. Yeah, oh, Yiddish is a type of German. Schwarze, it just means black. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. How about shittish? That's what I call it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Take that with your bullshit language. <laughs> Wait, Yiddish is sort of German? Slam. Sort of German, duck. sort of Hebrew. Mm, Slam dunk. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, kind of ironic, huh? Mm-hmm. I gotta get a timer going here. Sorry. Why do you think kind of ironic? Isn't it? Ironic? I don't know. The big German, the big Jewish, modern Jewish. Like a black language. guy who's doing blackface. <laughs> <laughs> like a Chinese guy. Free, free the Virginia with a huge governor. Huge ass dick. <laughs> well, I mean, he's still free. <laughs> free like him. a Mexican. <laughs> Gets employee of the month <laughs> and never sleeps. He's got narcolepsy. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? <laughs> like a Jewish guy who's bad with money. <laughs> Racist Alanis <laughs> Morissette. <laughs> <laughs> like Indian who's not a creep. <laughs> and he's good with women. <laughs> uh, shouts yeah. out to racist Alanis. Shouts out to Liam Neeson. Oh yeah, got a, f- a friend of the show, <laughs> Liam. <laughs> Elders, uh, so yeah, he said that uh, he said he was racist thirty years ago. Yeah, yeah. I found, Honestly, out, I found out somebody's shoplifted uh, some Bazooka Joe some... from my friend's store, and I was filled with a rage. I was filled with a rage that sent me out onto the streets just hoping some black bastard would yeah, ask me the... what time it was so I could clock him over the head with a shillelagh. What the fuck did he say? He what, had, he, what was he? Yeah, like, what a cudgel? He, what, no, yeah, he said that some is... sort of weapon that I didn't yeah, know what it was. I don't know, some kind of like Gaelic was... weapon that's only oh, used yeah. for Hate crimes. Yeah, I was yeah. assuming it was some sort of <laughs> billy club with yeah. nails on the end. Yeah, right. Well, son, I think we used this when the the Chinese first moved. Your great grandfather. Yeah. The best part of the <laughs> takes quote it out of a fucking said, my friend. Bastard. My friend told yeah. me that Black a curse was placed years. upon her by a Chinaman. <laughs> yeah. I went out on the streets that night with a <laughs> wand, hoping to stab some Chinaman in the eye. <laughs> Just my eye stabbing wand. <laughs> like every Irishman, I have an eye stabbing wand. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's an Irish bar mitzvah. Yeah, <laughs> this is your first hate crime. Mm, yeah, that's all Marky Mark was doing, man. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> how many, <laughs> how many black age. guys are in Ireland? There's the guy from Thin Lizzy. Whoever plays on that's Celtic, it. there's probably a yeah. center back. I went out trying to beat up the guy Scotland. from Thin Lizzy. <laughs> oh. 
What? Yeah, whatever. Well, went up trying. He tried to just looking for the guy. Yeah, he was trying to beat up the guy. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liam just, Neeson fucked my ass tonight. What a funny thing to say in an interview. I you were racist for no reason, by the way. It didn't but feel it, like they pressed him yeah. on it. Or well, anything. I know, and it's because it's like Liam Neeson has been at home watching all these things happen in the culture, like saying to his wife or whoever he lives with. He's I like, I think his wife got got by the Lord. Oh really? She yeah, she died, and I think that sent him down. A she got weird... murdered by God. Yeah, ba- that's, and when everyone dies, anyone dies, they get got yeah. by God. <laughs> I, my <laughs> wife was killed by God, <laughs> <laughs> and I was so mad, I went out looking for the first black bastard I could find, just to smash his face in with my my gulabrecht or whatever. <laughs> this is my Irish pet rock that I used to throw through the fucking orbital yeah. bone. He really didn't need to say that. But what yeah. do you do if you were racist 30 years ago? You say you weren't racist 30 years ago, and I then they you find out you're racist you can 30 probably years say ago, it. and then they Look, say you're we're, a liar. we're celebrities. We get it. Yeah, as a celeb. You know, as, as, a as, celeb. Celebs, as celebs, you have this impulse to chime in, mm-hmm. yeah. and it is never the correct impulse. No, no, I just stay off. Shut no up. No thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Just shut I up. never make my opinions on anything known. Yeah. Yeah. I have none. I'm dumb as shit. Have I considered a hate crime? You'll never know. I mm-hmm. don't know. Maybe, I've made a couple not. opinions known. Here's the thing: you can say you used to be racist. Don't say that you would you try to the murder streets and black about guy. murdering a random black. Well, guy. what was funny is like the outrage about what he said was that like he went out on the streets hoping some black guy would provoke him so he could hit the guy back, and like no one's. I, I at least I haven't seen it. Mad at like the implication that black people just go around assaulting whites. Right. They're right, mad right. that he says he would have retaliated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like the implication that that would happen is worse than like him saying he would beat some. He's just describing defending himself. Yeah. In the yeah. That is a very meathead thing. Like that is a very I wish a motherfucker would. Would yeah. The, you know that's a all Liam just was start saying. Start with me, bro. Yeah, yeah, but I mean I wish meathead. a motherfucker would is fucking everywhere. Every group of people. That's does. what I mean. That's, that's what, what the I'm, internet is is sitting that's online what saying, I'm saying I wish a motherfucker would. Yeah, he's mm. just verbalizing that. Yeah, that's that's very. In fact, he's if anything he's stealing Guido culture. Yeah, that's very yeah. fucking, bro. Would you, would you say, bro? Mm-hmm. You look at me, bro. Yeah. That's the moment he was wishing for. Well, it's funny because this Liam thing is keeping that Jesse Smollett story in the news. Why? What's going on with because that? Because they kind of they they work in tandem. Because like the whole argument is that like nobody's just going around looking for like gay black guys to beat up, and then Liam Neeson is like, I went around looking for gay black guys. To beat up. <laughs> it wasn't a gay black guy; just it was any. Black guy. I would take any kind of black. I was guy hoping I could for find. a gay one because they'd be They're easier, easier to, to beat up. Yeah. <laughs> I had read online that they're this, they, weak. as they're called young bucks. <laughs> 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 yeah. and so I was Liam hoping Neeson. that was <laughs> the <laughs> rare gay black man <laughs> Liam Neeson trying to rape his way into straightdom. <laughs> Going to like a fucking black hospital yeah. and like waiting for some yeah, right. someone on chemo to fucking mm-hmm. look at him funny. <laughs> <laughs> Take What's that. Black That's hospital? for raping. Huh? It's a hospital with black people. It's, hospital with black, it's an maybe all like black a, hospital? Yeah, maybe yeah. like an HBCU. So- <laughs> hospital <laughs> people all over the world the world <laughs> how you doing i'm dr don cornelius welcome to soul hospital where the only medicine is flavor <laughs> come on man i just need insulin please stop dancing <laughs> Just stop dancing at me, man. Just give me the insulin. <laughs> and our guest tonight is Peebo Bryson. <laughs> I got the system featuring Shaka Khan. <laughs> Universal Hospital. Welcome to Whole Train. Eating <laughs> pussy all over the world, the world. <laughs> I would love to host I'm, Whole I'm, Train. I'm Dome, Dome Cunt Idius. <laughs> Dome Cunt Idius. <laughs> Bring you some of the finest, flyest pussy eating and dick sucking there is in entertainment today. It's just a bunch of people clapping and like sucking each other's dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Go Stella! Go Stella! Go Stella! Go Stella! It's your birthday! It's your birthday! Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah. you, what's so, your name? 
Who your crew? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what ah, happens at Black A hundred dicks. Yeah, that's yeah. what happens at Black That's basically the Black, Black And Liam Neeson is like, what the what fuck is, is going this? on? <laughs> They're just dancing. What is this rape? <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you is the rapist? <laughs> <laughs> How about a sequel called Schindler's Pissed? Uh oh. And he yeah. goes around. He's under the Finally. impression that Hitler was black. Mm. And he's like, I've they, he killed six million of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I rove Germany, and now I'm going around <laughs> Germany, <laughs> black bastard, <laughs> with some sort of weird Irish charm brick, <laughs> with a brick with Gaelic scriptures all over it. Was it a brick? I don't. I don't know. No. I don't know what that word was. Yeah. I didn't even read enough of all that. I just saw the headlines. Yeah. It's enough for me, man. That's how I take my news in. Yeah. Eldest, Eldest said that No he, facts, no only facts. feeling, baby. That's it, I like dude. the I like I'm, the sense of the I'm the, the reverse Ben Shapiro, baby. Mm. I don't even make it all the way through a headline anymore. I'm half mm. the headline. That's right. Unless yeah. there's tits at the end of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. This Jussie Smollett thing is like insane, though. So what is it? I, I missed, I've missed every... Anything that's happened in the last week, I've been on drugs for. Mm-hmm. So I You've haven't been in La La Land, dude. You know? I've been on. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna be sober after this. I to, my brain got too much shit going. I was yeah. on edibles every day. I was mm-hmm. doing acid and shroomies. <laughs> Fun time, by the way. Shouts out to everyone who came out to see me in L.A. Them shows rocked my cock off. The Lodge Room. Shouts out my boy Gragov. Thank you for that shit. <clears throat> well, if you want an update. Yeah, what happened? So, well, the initial story was that he got jumped by two guys screaming, this is MAGA country, dressed in all black. He couldn't tell what race they, they were. They put a okay. noose around his neck. They put a noose around his neck, beat him up, broke broke his ribs. Damn. That's so, fucked up. Then the, the police are involved, and it seems like the Chicago Police Department from the jump was like, this was bullshit. But because it's so politicized, they're like, we're going to just investigate the shit out yeah, of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Prove, without a, prove without a doubt that this guy is lying before they even, like, suggest that, really. Yeah. That seems very Black's Rule, like that. Remember what? that guy? That yeah, guy yeah, who had yeah. that graffiti, that Black's Rule <laughs> <laughs> graffiti. Oh, yeah. The um, fake hate crime. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So they pulled all this security footage, and there's like a 60 second window where he's not on camera. There's nobody else, like, the, there's two people of interest that they were looking for who are just the only other people that happen to be in the area anytime. Not wearing the hat. Yeah. Well, n- there was never a claim that they were wearing the hat. Oh, I thought they were. No. No one ever said they were wearing the hat. Somebody said that they, or the report was that they yelled, this is MAGA country, <laughs> which was corroborated by his manager, who was supposedly on the phone with him at the time of the assault. And he, the manager heard the guy say, this is MAGA country over the phone. Mm-hmm. Chicago is? That's what, they, that's what these guys yelled. Chicago. This is MAGA, MAGA country. MAGA country. Anyways, there's like 60 seconds or less that he's not on camera. So he disappears from camera and then reappears like 60 seconds later, still holding the sandwich from Subway, walking into his, you know, hotel with the noose around his neck. The or like fuck? the rope just sort of draped around his neck. Oh, he kept his sandwich, though. He kept Is he his fucked sandwich. up but looking? Is his face fucked up? You can, I don't, you they don't never know. released yeah, that yeah, video. Yeah, the yeah. only video that's been released is that still image of those two persons of interest. Um, he wouldn't like show the police his phone records to prove that he was on the phone with the manager. And because he's like not under investigation, they can't, I mean, they would have to get like a subpoena to get right. these phone records, which I wouldn't be surprised if they're like just doing right. Because th- it puts it like, it puts the Chicago police department in a difficult position because they're racist and they like, yeah, had a they secret murdered. prison where they torture black people. <laughs> right, right, right. And they like right, concealed right. all this evidence right. in the Laquan McDonald case. <laughs> so for there to be like a major hate crime on a celebrity in Chicago and the CPD to like instantly say this is a hoax, they right. can't do You got to do your due they, diligence. Uh, yeah, they also can't like even like intimate that from the get go. But it's also like, I wouldn't put the pa- put it past them to investigate this with the intention of like disproving that it happened. <laughs> right, right, right. That's why like you can really only look at the evidence in in the in the case. And so far, what they've like, you know, pulled up is that there's no there's like no evidence of this attack. Damn. Yeah, that'd be um, tough so to go back to back to with the Indian guy and this guy. These both being what that'd be that'd be a tough back to back on the liberal shit you share. It it really like stories. Drum guy? It yeah, really would not drum guy to this guy would because be like a couple tough L's. They won't acknowledge it. If 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 like they prove without a doubt that it was a hoax, the media won't acknowledge it. 
it may be like a, a small correction, but this will be a thing because the 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 thinking is going to be like, well, we won't address this because this will give like, you know, credence to all this like fake news stuff or whatever, mm-hmm. and just be like throwing gas on the fire. But it doesn't matter because they've already lost all the people that are like observing this casually. Like a, a lot of people think this story is bullshit. You know, a lot of people don't. But yeah. like it, all I've seen is that I didn't even like it seemed weird to me, but I didn't look into it at all, and it seemed like it was real it, from the amount of people. You thought this was real? I mean, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. It just, yeah, what I'm was saying like, is prayers up. For yeah, Justin. it seemed like some guy got fucked up, and I didn't yeah. look into it at all. So it appears that it's real from like yeah, it just seems yeah, it just seems like because real people are talking about it. And I wasn't paying attention to it at all. Like I said, I was I mean, doing edibles. I know it's like a garbage it metric. It was 2 a.m. and it was negative 20 degrees outside. And they they had a noose and bleach on them. That's what he <laughs> said. Yeah, that's mm. tough. That's, that's There's a lot going yeah. on. So wait, the guy didn't get fucked up or he did get fucked up or what? The what only he, the only image he, of him fucked up is him like FaceTiming somebody. It's a still image of a FaceTime where there's like some small cut under his eye, mm-hmm. which doesn't look like it's there when he's in concert like three days later, where he also had to like clarify that his ribs were never broken and he was never hospitalized. Mm. So those parts of the story got walked back like immediately. So now there's no there's no like brutal beating anymore. Oh, interesting. And he's saying he bit they bit him. <laughs> well, he said he fought. They bit him. That's now the story is that he was. He, yeah. They bit him. They said this is MAGA country, and then no. they t- took a little. <laughs> they bit Let him. me get a little taste of this, though. Yeah. <laughs> this is MAGA country, but I would love it if there was a racist going around biting people, <laughs> <laughs> like a like a six year old. Get out! Yeah, this um, is our country, home. But yeah, that's a weird story. Yeah, that yeah. sounds fake. Yeah, no, I mean, it definitely sounds fake. It's just that, like, but then the, the, there's no real evidence that it is fake, though. I mean, because right, right, it's right. like to say, like, oh, wow, there's only 60 seconds where he's not on camera. It's like uh, getting your ass kicked can happen pretty oh, fucking quick. Oh, very, very you run up quick. and jump somebody, that's like 15 seconds. Yeah. If you count that out in your head, it's it's like not... It's that's really a long th- time. It does not take that long to run up, fucking stomp somebody's head in, yell something, and run away. Totally. And if the guy's, like, shook from that happening, I can see him just getting up and, mm-hmm. like, taking his bag and going into his hotel room. Yeah. There's no reason why he would need to, you know, people are like, he didn't take the noose off right away. All of that I buy, you know, if that were to happen. Yeah. It's just, that, like, what are the odds that it's this fucking short window? And it's also the... the if it's fake. Original details of the case, it's like, you know, some guys are wandering around Chicago, you know, about, the, like, if he was being stalked for a while, Maybe. And that was the other thing. The neighbor said she saw, like, some redneck, you know, wearing, like, hunting socks with a rope, you know, hanging out at his apartment, like, hours earlier, a couple mm. hours prior. Well, the police look into that. There's zero surveillance footage of the guy. The description of the person hanging around the apartment doesn't match the just ones. Elmer that, Fudd. It's just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. the neighbor's just, like, making shit up. Right, right, wow. right, right. You right, know, right. and then the robe she described, like, like uh, differed significantly from, like, the one in the... Uh, you know, that they collected yeah. and brought into evidence. It was a sweet rope. The rope she saw no, was awesome. I am the only one that gives a shit about this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah. think anyone Nobody cares. fucking yeah, yeah, cares. Yeah, I don't care. And I, <laughs> but whatever. Who gives a shit? Story? If yeah. he made it up, he's he's fucking... No one will up. talk to me about it. I have to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to do it on air. <laughs> yes. I have to force people to listen to me. This is Emmett Till all over again, mm-hmm. right, Nick? Yeah. Just well, making it up. Who, that bitch made it up. <laughs> Emmett Till... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. No, no the, the, the woman. woman. I know, I know. I'm just, I was, I was saying like, <clears throat> you know. maybe he just sweetened it. Maybe it was like they did fuck his ass up, but they weren't like. Where would he get MAGA a rope country? From? Well, now the cops are like. So look, he was just carrying around a rope. The cops are going through security footage from like every hardware store and every place that oh, sells ropes. No. They're like, yeah, we're no. gonna figure out who bought this rope. Oh no. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, I would be if I was him and I made this shit up. I'd be like, nah, it's, it's actually all yeah. good. Well, I mean, he better hope they don't find him because if like the cops are going to the extent, if they think that he's lying, yeah, and they're fucking wasting the the, the resources to go through all that footage, yeah, to find somebody buying rope at a hardware store, right. it's like that's not the kind of shit that they just also, let someone slide. Might have just had rope, right? What do you mean? So the guy who did it could have just had rope. That's the other thing, too, is you come at it from the other angle. It's like, 
I understand like like even like the the Sadie Doyle shit where you go on Twitter and you're like, uh, I was on my way home and three Bernie Bros came up and called me a, a slut. Right, you know? and it's right. like, obviously that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I just yeah. happened to walk past a Bernie Sanders rally and they were chanting "Kill all women." Right. You know, like that's one. Which thing. is why I support him. By the that's, way, that's that's one thing. Yeah. Like saying you got beat up and jumped and calling the police and involving all these other people like that doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't. That's true. It is insane. It's fucking way too much effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably. I don't know. I don't care. I'm saying I probably, probably get fucked. I think it's probably. I think. I think. And it, I think this is you use Occam's razor here. Yes, he had the he rope because he off. was kidnapping a young boy to rape. <laughs> <laughs> As we know, all homosexuals are pedophiles. <laughs> He was kidnapping a young boy who bites people, children. Yeah. He oh, got, he got shit. bitten. He was on the phone with the manager who was like, describe his body. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear more about this boy yep. that we're taking back to the island. <laughs> and, you know, the boy ran away or whatever and got, and that's why he doesn't show up on camera because he's so he's small. So little. Right. He's so tiny. Yes. Yeah, that, that, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And he was trying to say "grandma," but it sounded like "maga." Yeah, right. You should you know? just start a mm-hmm. second podcast, like a serial style podcast. Dude, I was just saying this you, the other day. I would love to do uh, like an extremely high production value true crime podcast. Yeah, where I go, like I pick at some small town and I pick some unsolved mystery and I fucking interview everyone and then I just accuse them all of being child rape. <laughs> <laughs> Every single person I interview. But there was something off about Mark. Mm-hmm. Something in his demeanor. Is it possible that he rapes children? <laughs> boop, 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 doo, boop, boop, boop. The grieving father. On Serial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. On the next episode of Serial. <laughs> I just, I'm never going to see her grow up. I mean, we're not going to. Did you rape your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> what I the was, fuck? I was in Iraq when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> but we looked it up. <laughs> You get that Don Shipley guy? Yes, I looked it up. It's true. Not only was he in Iraq, he is a Navy SEAL. <laughs> he is, in fact, a Navy SEAL. <laughs> I don't know that guy. Don yeah, who's Sh- that? Busey? No, Don Shipley is the, the guy that does, like, stolen Valor vids. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's the former Navy SEAL whose, like, hairline starts, like, on the bridge of his nose. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm jealous. Yeah, no, his hair starts, it's, like, right above his eyebrows. <laughs> like Ken Burns vibe? It's... It's. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. No, not like Kim Burns. Kim Burns is a little doll wig. Mm-hmm. We looked you into think this Ken guy, Burns is wearing a piece and it turns of out his story is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, he's got this like weird, like <laughs> central PA accent. Shit is so funny when they just. Just a clearly retarded person in a bus stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, they're cool. I was on the Navy SEALs. <laughs> look, this is his Yeah, yeah, his hairline. yeah, yeah. There's like a, a, an inch. That's weird. Yeah, an that's, inch and a quarter. That's a, that's a wig. That's No, beautiful. it's not a wig. He just has a low hairline. No, that no one's hairline looks like that. Don Shipley's does. Dude, Don, don't fucking... Are you saying Don Shipley's like, disrespect old Valor? Don't disrespect yeah, the ship. Yeah, stealing, he's stealing... Uh, First of all, person. getting a hair piece is not stealing Valor. Yeah, okay? it is stuff. If I'm first of all, I don't have one, and I never will. I'm just saying, philosophically speaking, yes. there is nothing wrong with put you know augmenting mm-hmm. your natural state with a wig or a you know you comb your hair, don't you? Yeah, my you like you care about life. how it looks, right? No, I don't comb it. You comb it. No, you wash it. Now, I wash it on occasion. Yeah. We got a letter care how from a look. viewer. That said that my hairline is stolen valor. <laughs> so I looked into it. And I it's don't not. think his hair Please is shut real. up. Well, do you think that I do you, do you think that if someone prefers a man with an uncut dick, do you think that I could say that that's ableist? Yes. Right. Yes. Is my disability is that I have Jewish. I'm without foreskin. But you're Jewish. Well, you can bet on it at bet the yeah. <laughs> Yep. You can bet on on whether or not having a foreskin is ableist. And by the way, let me say something. Com. I've never no one has ever preferred it. There's people have been like, "Well, that's fun." Mm. And one girl refused to suck me off, Jewish by the way, because of my foreskin. What a mm-hmm. bitch. 
Was a, she was a bitch. And I heard somebody wouldn't suck off my fat friend <laughs> and his tiny uncircumcised dick. <laughs> and I went out looking for the first black bastard I could find. <laughs> avenge me, avenge me, Liam. And Avenge went, my dryly jacked dick that I night. I went out to beat up the first black bastard <laughs> I could see. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, you can bet on that shit, though. I bet. The SI.com, the premier sports betting website. Over 20 years in business. Mm-hmm. Folks, Don Shipley here for <laughs> BetDSI.com. This is not a celebrity impersonation, nor is Don Shipley a celebrity. <laughs> it's an, he is an individual who with I am, a YouTube account with a YouTube account who I am claiming is here right now endorsing BetDSI.com using his likeness without permission. <laughs> Bet DSI completely supports yeah. the use of Don Shipley's <laughs> likeness without his permission. It would be great if it's a guy that goes around, like guy that goes around, like like outing fake Navy SEALs, just uh-huh. as somebody pretending to be him. <laughs> that is not the real Don Shipley. My name is Don Shipley, the real Navy SEAL. I'm gonna make an account outing Don Shipley. Yeah. That is the fake Don fake Shipley. Fake Don Shipley. I am the real. Don Was he Shipley. a Navy SEAL? Yeah, he was a Navy SEAL. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Allegedly. That would be such, so lame if he wasn't in the Army at all and he was just like... It would make mm-hmm. more sense. The Army SEALs, baby. The Army SEALs, dude. If he was a liar <laughs> yeah. and he was trying to out all, out all the other mm-hmm. liars, mm-hmm. yeah, that'd be perfect. No, man, snitches, dude. Fuck snitches. Mm-hmm. I would just... I'm waiting for he, him to just, like, go political, you know? Yeah. He's like, today, we check to see if Christine Blasey Ford is stealing <laughs> oh, power. <no. laughs> I pulled her military <laughs> records. Turns out she was never even in the army. And everyone knows that women only get raped in the army. <laughs> they don't only, Don. It's you know certainly it's one of the preferred destinations. Well, that's it for today's episode. <laughs> yeah, and you can put money on if you can that's bet money good on it. Good or bet not. money on it. At the wound, bet money on the Wounded Warrior Project mm-hmm. at betdsi.com. They got 24 7 customer service. Call them up, bitch. <gasps> Call say, them hey, up. Hey, I just wanted to say you never have any reason to because their service is perfect. It's perfect, and they pay out winners. They got an award winning mobile app that mm-hmm. is used in anywhere. Live in game wagers. Automobiles. Even Ye- in the heat of combat. I remember right. using the Bet DSI app when I was 20. 20 feet underwater, playing explosives <laughs> underneath uh, the Chuck E. Cheese in, <laughs> and Bahrain. Bahrain, in, in Wilmington, Delaware. <laughs> they got one on the waterfront. We <laughs> swim underneath it, we planted explosives under the ball pit. Why were you doing that, so, John? I don't know. I don't want to. That's top secret. That's it seems classified. like a lot of c- civilian lives were at stake there. <laughs> that's, yeah, uh, no, that's tier one classified. <laughs> were you on official orders? I was, what, was the, what was the objective? It was the o- Operation Risky Business. And we were doing... Uh, listen, shut up for, for a second here. Listen. Okay, sorry, man. Yeah. Award winning mobile app. They got 24 7 customer service. Um, the website is betdsi.com. That's one of the key pieces one of, of information key, one about of the, them. One of the, one is of that the their website. The, one of those interesting things about them <laughs> is actually bet. Is that, that you can go DSI. to betdsi.com. You don't have to put in www. No. What or happened the, to www? Or the https colon backslash backslash what, or they, whatever. I, I feel like that. That shit, they used to tell you to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you can bet on everything, and they offer live in-game wagering. You can make plays throughout (laughs) the entire games and events. Wow. Here's what we're going to be betting on this week. You got uh, the Lakers missing the playoffs. So when you sign up, make sure you use promo code (laughs) COME120 so they know we sent you. That's CUM120. When you sign up, you've got some options. You can just play and cash out. Or you can take the bonus money, which is like getting a casino cop up front, up front before you've played at the table. Wow. 1600 cash. It has a rollover requirement, but it's free cash. So if you're going to be in the sports book, which is where we, we love, like to gamble. We love to gamble. We there. love gambling in there. If you use promo code COM120, C-U-M-120, up to $1,000, they're going to give you 60% bonus cash, which would turn $1,000 into 1600 to play with. So once again, that's BetDSI.com, COM120. Let's start, Let's start the, show. the show. Let's start that shit. 
Dun, 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 dun. So yeah. Lewis is telling people I'm dead, I guess. Yeah, Why is he, yeah, he doing, he's that? doing he that for that's weeks? a good prank? It is a good prank. I don't think it's a good, not, very nice prank at in, all. In the sense that it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's a good prank. Yeah. Guess what? Louis J. Gomez, dead. He's actually dead. 1971 yeah. to 2019. <laughs> right. He was, what does that make him, 40? Uh, Louis is dead. Old. Lewis is dead and we enslaved his son. He's dead, his son dead. His son, no. His <laughs> son is our endangered servant. No, he's son mad that I... my son. He's my yeah. son yeah. I canceled the Raising last, him in the real Jewish last podcast faith. last minute to do a voiceover audition. Oh, yeah. Which, like, uh, look, man, we're all trying to, we're all just trying to pay our rent. We're in show oh, business, you know? You know? scraping. We're just scraping by out here. But also, yeah, fuck that. We're dude. multidisciplinary. You know I need, you know I need that hummus commercial money. <laughs> Sabra hummus, great supporters mm-hmm. of the it state of Sabra. Israel. Yeah, nice. Thank you, that Nick. You just like the the commercial starts, and you hear like the sounds of like a riot at the border wall, <laughs> <laughs> and then, like like uh, you know like oh these these rocks <laughs> taste terrible. <laughs> and they're like to dip it in some saba hummus, and like I guess they taste better now. And they're like why are you eating the rocks? So they're like who, who cares? Let's just shoot these children. Uh-huh. Saba hummus. <laughs> Let's just shoot these children. Let's just kill these children. <laughs> Let's just shoot these children. <laughs> and you got the spot? Um, well, they said, please just read really, like, Please just say it's And you're funny. like, no, I brought my own copy. Yeah, yeah, anytime like I do a commercial audition where they're like, yeah, just feel free to play around with it and improvise <laughs> in this, it, I always go Holocaust joke. <laughs> He's like, fuck you. Because what that means is like, yeah, feel free to just write our commercial for us. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, they just Geico the shit. six yes. million. Yeah. Right, sounds yeah. a little high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, feel free to try and get our company in trouble because we didn't want to do the work. Yep, Sabra Hummus, mm-hmm. take that, you little rocket rock throwing piece of shit. Well, I mean, you can't say that they're innocent. The last time around, they were flying kites with fire yeah. in them. That's fire right, fire kites, fire mm-hmm. kites. I know. Guess what? There's nothing get. scarier. Yeah, dude. Then a fucking I. If I if I saw a kite of or like a, a weaponized pogo stick, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. that's the kind of shit Israel. My well, favorite shit is like they're like, no, they're enough. this is a propaganda by Hamas. They're using children as human shields. It's like, then don't shoot the human shields. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you mean Hamas, not Hamas. Uh, did I say Hamas? Yeah. You well, you I got Hamas. You got delicious Sabra. Look, hummus dude, I'm brand brain. loyal. You know, <laughs> yeah. once I'm look, once I'm trying to sell somebody's product, mm-hmm. I'm in the fucking zone. You know, so true. it's me, you. This is a message to any any advertisers out there. Yeah, that are looking for a revolutionary new style of marketing that we're introducing. Yes, called destroying your brand's image, <laughs> <laughs> so that you can. <laughs> Get your your company's exactly. name in front of like roughly a hundred thousand, mostly racist teenagers, right? Yes, who don't have any money of their who own, who don't, but are willing to steal from their parents, are willing to spend yeah. their parents' money on dick pills. <laughs> 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 if, if your demographic is seventeen year olds with erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Let us sell them stuff. They, no hey. bitches. Yeah, they need stuff to drink. We don't have a cool. We don't have some kind of beverage sponsor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We should get. We should get into partnership with Nelly. Bring back pimp juice. Yeah, we should have an alcohol that we sell. We should like a Ciroc. Ciroc. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Coconut. I'm flavor. selling. We're, we actually have a special come town liquor that's just hypnotic mixed with Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. And, yeah. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, but get this, folks. You're not allowed to make it at home. If you do, you're going to jail. We're going to kill you. Yeah. We're going to fucking find we're gonna you. We're going to have a gun and we're going to... We're going to bring a gun to your house and kill you and your family. Kill you and your most loved ones. It's a patented secret. We're going to be like, who do you love the most? And then we shoot them in the fucking we, head. Yeah, we, ma- we put a gun in your mom. baby sister's hands <laughs> and make her shoot your parents. Mm-hmm. Or, or we put a gun to her head and say, we're going to kill you if you don't kill your parents. And your parents, through tears, have to beg your baby sister to kill, to them. kill them. Yeah, <laughs> She has so much life to live. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so don't don't make the drink at home, guys. We do don't want to have to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that we would will. Be a real but bummer. if you if you want to go to cometownliquor dot com, mm-hmm. we are selling our pre mixed <laughs> hypnotic and Nutella. W n l i c k h e r. Yeah, and remember- every dot single com. dollar goes to uh, every single dollar after profits goes to charity. That's right. Yeah, that's the stripper's name. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wonder the guy that closed on that. <laughs> really? That's, yeah. 
<laughs> you know who it was. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That was a hilarious weekend. Yeah, dude, that week was great. <laughs> uh, our beautiful fucking adventure mm-hmm. through Canton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love it, man. Mm-hmm. Damn. Adam, you, ever nice. have, you ever have friends? Isn't yeah, it nice to be nostalgic? You, you have stuff. Actually, friends. that's, yeah. You have way more friends than we do. Do you ever reminisce? Well, you know. Stop's got a lot of I friends. Have of friends. I guess it's just me that doesn't have any yeah, friends. Yeah, it's actually you, yeah. Most don't comics don't it. have friends. Sav and I are weird that we have friends. Yeah, we, from childhood, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the boys, <clears throat> it was fun going out there, going to L.A. and just doing drugs with the with the squad. Who, who'd you, you have on George the roster? George and Eldis. George Eldis? Mm-hmm. Good. I'm glad Eldis had a nice trip. He did. He, You know what Eldis's take on the Liam Neeson thing was? What was that? He was keeping it real. <laughs> I agree. And can I be honest? He truly was How keeping can it he, real. Why is keeping it real not allowed <laughs> yeah. anymore? Why is he that kept against it. the... A buck. My yeah. man kept uh-huh. it fully 100. Cancel. cancel. <laughs> it's like, I mean, uh, b- b- cancel literally culture. what you're saying is true, though. It's like I know. Liam Neeson just spoke honestly. That's what I, that's about, what I was like, saying earlier. Pretty normal, like, uh, uh, human reaction to something. You know, it's like, what, what the fuck does it... And then, like, the point that he was making was about, like, all this rage and, like, online aggression or whatever. And mm-hmm. it completely fell on deaf ears with all these people. Yeah. Right. I mean, you culture have to shit. Lie it's, about the world it. is ruined. Yep. You know, you just got to hang out with your boys. Uh huh. You know, pretend to be Don Shipley. <laughs> Never <laughs> tell right. the truth. And do your own high production value true crime podcast Absolutely as right. Don Shipley, mm-hmm. where you trying to find his own rapist. <laughs> <laughs> his own rapist. <laughs> yeah. I'm Don Shipley, and I was raped. <laughs> I'm going around the country confronting fake Navy SEALs. Did you rape me? <laughs> Were you the one that did it? Is SEAL an acronym? Yeah. What does Super it stand for? Super Extraordinary Ass Cheek Liquor. Mm-hmm. Ass Cheek Liquor. <laughs> Sexy right. and always looking. <laughs> Sexy, educated, <laughs> athletic, <laughs> and leisurely. Si- uh, That's single, not bad. Si- single, educated African lady. <laughs> oh, I want me some SEAL. Yeah. I'm Don Shipley, a single, educated African lady. And I'm looking for a man that wants to help raise my son. I'm not looking for a boy. What I want is a man. I'm tired of all these fake-ass mans that are unwilling to raise my son. Latritus. <laughs> Latritus. Yeah. You ain't my daddy. Latritus, don't talk to him like that. He could be. <laughs> Just naming your son after where you piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Porta potties, yeah. Porta potties, don't be doing that <laughs> shit. Are, are we gonna talk about this blackface shit? The yes. governors, yeah. Mm. Salute. There's another blackface Virginia, another Virginia, the Bustina. <laughs> another Virginia governor having his free speech attacked. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I guess dragon culture. You can't admit that you did blackface <laughs> and dressed up in a clan. The best part in was your we... medical school yearbook. Yeah, hilarious. It wasn't even like a high school or yeah, <laughs> it was guys medical are doctors, school. Damn. <laughs> Man. Our society is kind of racist, huh? The thing is, is Con... you can still do blackface. You just have to be like, yeah, it's funny to me. <laughs> it was it was funny for me to do it. I don't know. <laughs> no, I think the last doctor. No, you don't understand. It's not racist. It's I funny. Just, it was a good bit. It's hilarious. What's yeah. his name? Iron. No, Man. you don't get it. I'm not actually black. Yeah. <laughs> I put on makeup to look like a black yeah. person, mm-hmm. and that's it's a joke. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is going to be go down as the last. That that Black marks face a past yes, that absolutely. society has ever that is a that big they will grant. Pull. It's the last one. Well, last I told one. you I read that interview with him where he like didn't get it. He didn't get the bit. He he's that saying movie things is brilliant. He, the movie is great, but he's saying things in. I got to pull it up, but he's saying things in the interview where he's like. It really, I really started to like feel like a black person. Like he's like being, oh, no. he's he talking, method. he's doing what he's the actor, doing the yeah, character. what the yeah. Kirk Lazarus <laughs> so guy bad. would have fucking Actors said. Actors are so stupid, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are so stupid. Why no? Not as smart as fucking us, dude. Yeah, us geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Boom. The best part, and we talked about it off mic, was that 
Someone asked him if he could still moonwalk. Yep. And, and my then man he was about to truly do was thinking about it. And then it. his cunt wife told man, him not that to. That dumb bitch robbed that us. Fucking whore. Of the best clip of all time. It would have yeah. been. A man at his blackface <laughs> conference. To moonwalk his apology at a bla- blackface conference. At a blackface <laughs> news conference. <laughs> to do the moonwalk. While trying to save face and say that you're not resigning. But if he had done that, he would have been the absolute boy. Absolutely. I would have said he should run for president. That yes. would be that would be the that would create the fissure in culture where yep. we say, All right, boys over here. Yep. Everybody else yep. fuck off. Yes. And then we take that guy, we'd make I'm riding I'm riding for that man. Always blackface yep. aside. If you do her. if you do moonwalk at your blackface <laughs> conference. I don't I'm care. I'm sorry. Man. The blackface was bad. I will but set the up moonwalk a, thirty years later. I will set up a separate up tax it. system uh-huh. and contribute to it <laughs> to set up a separate government with that guy at the head of it. <laughs> what if he just stood up at his press conference? He's like, "Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a wigger. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I've been a wigger this whole time. Okay, <laughs> I like to pretend to be a black guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. I walk with a pimp strut." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. What if a moonwalk was so? What if he hit it so clean? Everyone was like, dude, "We're good." What if he did? What if We're he good, like, bro. The, the smooth criminal lean. <laughs> woke people. Woke people have been screaming for the last like six years, and they never shut up. So like, no normal people have been able to say anything. And woke people are under the impression that normal people are just like internalizing everything they're saying and taking it as like the truth. You may not argue with it, but it's like I, I guess if that's what you say, it doesn't mean it resonates or like clicks with any anybody. So for a guy to be like, yeah, forty years ago I wore blackface in a costume, like I can, like how you don't understand why that would like, like be not okay, but like there's an explanation for it. It was f- thirty fucking years ago. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it yeah. was the eighties. Yeah, it was the fucking nineteen eighties. Mm-hmm. Ted Danson. Did it was like nineteen eighty four. Years after that. Yeah. You know, Billy Billy Crystal was huge, and it's a man. Halloween costume. You got the jazz man. Yeah, character. yeah. I mean, yeah. People I were mean, doing blackface mm-hmm. Halloween costumes until like six years ago. The jazz singer I came know. out nineteen eighty four, I believe. Al Jolson. Yes, definitely contemporary. It can't, it had just it had just come out. He was doing Al Jolson cosplay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think people are just mad though that like this month. Yeah, that. He's a, he was a fucking medical school in Virginia, and this motherfucker went on to be the, become the governor. And then he was like, uh, it wasn't me, but I did it before, and he got confused. I think it was all like a weird... He said that he wasn't in the blackface or the Klan robe, which is technically, you can't you can't know if it was him in the Klan robe, right? Yeah, yeah there was Klan robes involved. I don't know, man. Yeah. It's pretty fucking racist. I mean, I know what you're saying, that there, it makes sense how he would end up there, but it's like... Yeah, but it, it's it's... <laughs> Yes, it's racist, but if it's racist in the context of, like, it's a Halloween costume and they're like, how about a blackface guy hanging out with a Klansman? It's like, it's a, no, if it's meant to be, like, a, mm-hmm. a, a, a funny Halloween costume, yep. a pimps and it hose pales party. in comparison <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. to, like, everything we say and do on this show constantly. I, you think it pales in comparison dressing up like a Klansman? To everything we do constantly. Yeah, because it's 20 fucking 19 and we make these fucking jokes and we say these things. We don't and like, dress up do you, like let, me, let me put it this way. Do you think that that guy hates black people? Maybe. Maybe, yeah, I don't okay. know. Okay, all right. I mean, if that's how you feel, then then okay. He yeah, also did something... say, like, he did, uh, like, he's in the crosshairs because he came out in favor of the late-term abortion bill. And that's why, like, I guess conservatives are, are backing him up. No, Trump is like, yeah, Trump's been tweeting. He's like, I saw his press, press conference pathetic. He should resign. Yeah. He's a loser. <laughs> I would never do black. But it's face. like, it is kind of fucked up that that's like at a medical school. I don't know. There's something worse to me that it's like, if it's high school, mm-hmm. they're dumb Virginia kids, whatever. But it's like, okay, maybe, let's say he doesn't even, he's doing it as a bit. Somebody in that fucking medical school is racist. And they probably it's probably affected. I, don't know. I see what it's you probably mean. affected the care of like a black person at some point. I, I mean, that's such like a huge jump. To is say it? That, yeah. Yes. The court in clans robes and shit. To say that because this guy did blackface in medical school, it's affected the quality of care that a black it person probably receives. has. They're fucking racist. Someone in that fucking Virginia school. If there's like a person who's like, it's all. In that spectrum of racism where it's accepted, where no one's like, damn, this is kind of weird that you're in clans robes, that, like, 
that was just acceptable. There's the a, most racist. There's probably a but if it's a, a ho- racist. It, no, but it, you're, you're removing it from way. the context it, of it being again a Halloween costume where you're lampooning something. Yeah, but there's only one way to actually know if he's racist or not, and that's to see how, how good the moonwalk yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, there's no other way to know. All right. We have to get him on the horn. If he hits that, if he hits it perfect, if, he, if it's smooth enough, ten ten. You know, I rescind what I said. Not a racist bone in his body. Yeah. I thought he was like a kind of a corrupt, like a uh, blue dog Democrat. Yeah, I mean, also. I don't fucking know, dude. I, again, I don't know anything and I don't look into anything. I don't know. I think it's just like jumping from like tasteless to this person is killing black people with bad medicine because like. I this- think this is kind of a stupid <laughs> train that we're going on, right? What do you mean? I don't think like you can prove that, but it's also like, should he be the governor of? A it's state? weird, man. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And listen, well, he should I've be known the governor people... of the state if people voted for him. I mean, that, yeah, uh, outside did. of that, it's like I don't fucking give a shit. I, I mean, think also, there yeah, or be if more he broke the attitude, law, sure. I don't. There should be more of an attitude that you can have the wrong opinion fifty years ago and like still not get dragged for it. And, like Liam Neeson can be a piece of shit thirty years ago and then be honest but about it. That the Liam shit is much more. I think he just again, and I didn't read what he said. He was at all. looking to murder a black person. Yeah, if you compare that to blackface. I think like murdering one. Yeah, is probably worse. Not yeah, but he didn't murder anyone. He, he was mad. I mean, whatever. Who cares? I just think that my. Uh, I don't know, clans robes are the things that, that mm-hmm. fuck me up. But you're right, I guess it was a costume. But I don't know, man, that's just some... Like, that shit's weird. Anytime I've seen a robe or some shit like that, it makes, you know, at the meetings and stuff like that. When you're at the meetings. I'm meeting. like, yeah. I don't know, guys, do we need the robes? Yeah, why are we still doing this bit, you know? And what I don't understand is, like, you get caught doing that, you just be like, oh, yeah, it was a ghost. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was... What the fuck are you talking? I'm mean, a that ghost costume. That wasn't me, dude. I was being a ghost. It's a fu- mm. it's Halloween. I'm wearing a ghost costume. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What what stupid asshole. To, that guy was being my shadow. What if they transition <laughs> to I, from clan robes to burkas, and then you'd think that Muslim <coughs> women were doing the KKK? That's pretty mm-hmm. good. Yeah, that's, that's actually a good that. rebrand. Yeah, a not KK keeb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What? A, I mean, I just think that. Um, you know, people are really into retro nostalgia. Yes. And what's more retro? What's more down home apple pie American? A lynching. Than a white person putting shoe polish on their face. Right. I yeah. don't know. I wasn't gonna say a lynch. Yeah, it sounds like you were you were <laughs> I wasn't doing gonna it. Say that, you were but. yeah. You were doing the act out. Yeah. Um do you think Norman Rockwell ever painted someone in blackface? You know people in Norman Rockwell paintings were going to lynchings. Uh huh. You know what I mean? All those people smiling and shit. Yeah. What is it? People just like uh, they were doing some racist shit. Yeah. Whatever, dude. I'm not one for uh, paintings. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm more into movies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, the Criterion Channel. You can sign up now. And oh, I wait, sorry. Up. Never mind. Uh, Hemp bombs. <laughs> is a CBD company. Let's go. I sorry. I thought that CBD stood for Criterion Blu-ray this uh, distribution distribution, but it doesn't. It stands for cannabinoid. I don't know. They didn't put that in here. I don't know. Look, it's some chemical that you should put in your body. It doesn't matter what the name is. Yep. Um, don't worry. <laughs> it's not regulated by the FDA. <laughs> There's no government oversight on any of this stuff. But it's uh, it's a medicine that Luis J. Gomez has been telling people. About. <laughs> so it's definitely you, you want to check out Hemp Bombs. Mm-hmm. Today's show is brought to you by Hemp Bombs CBD. They have the largest selection of U.S. grown CBD products on the market. Whoa! You know, so we got um, they got some shit called uh, Max Chill. I love that shit. I took that and it's like, poof. Let me tell you something. Whatever that shit does, it works. Oh uh, yeah, dude. When right. I took it, I was like, "Damn, I was this like, is Damn, working." I can feel this. I'm feeling yeah. this. Whatever, whatever it's supposed to do, <laughs> that is fucking. The effects working, baby. are uh, kicking in. It is, wow. <laughs> yeah, you could say I'm peaking <laughs> on whatever, whatever, I'm whatever the fuck whatever, bullshit they whatever. claim it does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever the fuck, whatever it's supposed to do, I'm Were telling they pills? you. Uh, yeah, Dude, there's got, there's pills. Actually, they're right there's up there. Sounds. That's all the shit that they. Sent that's me. all the shit. So that's their product I'm line. Drop a bean, dude. They had a, a a lube 
that I used to beat off with. Nice. Yeah. Was your dick relaxed? It was. Stoned. It, it felt exactly like fucking my hand <laughs> with a bunch of oil in it. I would love that. And, you Dude. know, I, I wasn't as nervous as I was doing it usually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm always apologizing to myself. Mm. Sorry, this never yeah. happened. I can't, wait, I can't get I'm, hard. I'm quietly locking the door as slowly as I can so you can't hear the click of the lock tumbling over. <laughs> and I didn't need to do that this time. Uh -huh. I just beat off with the door open. Wow. Yeah. Not worrying about the other prisoners catching me in the library <laughs> and making me pay for my sins. <laughs> Stop. Would you get your head replaced with a pussy? That'd be cool. Like Ash and Evil Dead, but yep. it's a big flashlight. But just a pussy hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would there be a protective case? I'm going to rip off your head and suck <laughs> off your dick. I mean, you can put like a glove over it. <laughs> I'm here to kick ass and jack people off, <laughs> and I'm all out of gum. Uh, yeah, maybe. I guess I would consider it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, that sounds pretty fucking chill, and if you want to chill out, <laughs> you can use hemp bombs, CBD oil, baby. They got capsules. They're great for anxiety during the day. I love that. You, you Nervous, you know? Nervous and your fucking Looney Tunes fitted cap isn't working. <laughs> well, you can just pop a bunch of fucking live usually bugs is pr pr yeah. uh, protecting your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. But you're not anymore. Sylvester the cat tall T <laughs> yeah. with the Superman logo around his neck isn't working for you. Well, when I just pop, pop, pop some CBD pills, yeah. baby. And it's great for anxiety during the day. Do you wish you could smoke weed, but court ordered you can't for the you next can't. six months? You can't Guess because what? you quote unquote killed your son. <laughs> <laughs> he was well, smoking all your weed, dude. You can use yeah. You can use they don't show up on drug tests. Ninety nine percent C B D purity, domestically grown. This isn't you're not supporting China. No. Nope. Okay. These are hard, these are hard nice. working. <laughs> Uh, 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 Hardworking blue collar white guys Like your father You yeah. know Like the father you don't talk to anymore The mm -hmm. general contractor mm -hmm. from central PA <laughs> yep. Is disgusted that you're an intern at a podcast Yeah This weed is from uh, the Philadelphia yeah. area He's the kind of guy that makes this CBD oil. Real union guys here Domestically mm -hmm. grown It's 100% legal no failed drug tests. Biggest product selection on the market. They got tattoo aftercare Ooh. lube and beard oil. Tattoo aftercare? That's yeah. right, bitch. You put weed on your tat? Yeah. Your fresh tat? Yeah. So dude. if you want to make sure that Proud Boys tattoo stays <laughs> right. yep. completely fresh, mm -hmm. just rub some CBD oil, hemp bomb, CBD, tattoo you want, aftercare. You want that <laughs> giant mural of Johnny Depp as the Mad Hatter on your back to right. look beautiful? Uh -huh. Beard oil. Rub that shit down. You know, you want CBD beard oil? You For some reason, you still think it's 2013 and everyone has a beard mm -hmm. for some reason? <laughs> you think it's that... Brief eight month period where everyone thought they were going to be on Whisker Wars. <laughs> Whisker Wars. Yeah, then get some fucking hemp bombs. That's what I call eating your girl's pussy. Yeah. Mm. Whisker uh, Wars. I also call it that. <laughs> They've got one of the best and most reviewed brands on social media, mm -hmm. and they're third party lab tested. You hear that, motherfuckers? So on oh, animals. Yeah. So everyone go to hempbombs.com and use they're promo putting, code. They're putting this shit in chimpanzees' yeah. mouths. I will, watching I, how much they chill. You. Look, I will say they send us all this shit, and, and I have not taken the uh, gummies. I think I had some of the gummies at, like, either Skankfest or something, and they taste good. Um, there you go. I want a gummy just because I'm hungry. Uh, you know? It was nice beating off with lube. I'm a dry jacker. I've Me always too. been a dry jacker. Me too. Well, you All know, I would do, I would do lotion when I was a teen, and then, but I was always worried my mom would be suspicious why my hands well, smelled, so nice. smelled so nice. Your smelled so good. <laughs> yeah. While well, well, your, your mom's checking your cock, yeah. your, your nightly cock Well, check. you know, of course. My mom would inspect my penis every day after school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful day in San Francisco. It's, it's weird. This is my first vacation, so I'm, I'm not used to having to inspect my own penis every day at 3 p.m. Your mom weighs your nuts every day and makes sure you're not beating yeah, you off. Know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, your mother usually weighs your nuts to make sure you haven't masturbated. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if they come up even a, a fraction of a gram less, you're not allowed to watch Flubber that afternoon. <laughs> they take away your Flubber cassette tape. And you can't watch it. <laughs> Love that movie, Flubber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's such a shame he passed away. What are you talking about? Robin Williams, he passed away. What do you mean passed away? He died. What what is what do you mean? 
Oh, is he with grandma and grandpa? You, you mean he went to the farm with grandma and grandpa? <laughs> uh, no, I mean he's like physically not alive anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then that's that's yeah. where the San Frangelico guy yeah. is. Never even been explained the concept, know the concept of, of, death. of death. Yeah, we have a limited time here on Earth. <laughs> you know, like most people die at like 65 oh, or so. Oh, that's why he's so chill. What? He's in no rush to I'm grow 53 up. years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now enter phase two of the San Frangelico guy. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to ruin I don't want to take his innocence away from him. Dude, now it's too late. You told him about death. That's, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm retconning that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm the head writer of San Francisco. You're right. You're right. People really hate that bit. Nobody thinks it's funny. <laughs> we love it. I love it, dude. I don't give a shit. This, is, this show's for us. I mean, not, not entirely. People. It's for everybody, but that's the one thing you can say about Come Town. That was the hardest It's a show everyone. that everybody, everybody likes. Everybody. I've never Everybody. met a single person mm-hmm. that thinks the show is bad. Yep. No, you know, certainly not. But yeah, they don't. Uh, they did not like that one. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, do we? Have, is there a promo code or anything? Yeah, it's promo code Come Town. Okay, nice. And you get like twenty percent. What's the on website? Right? This is the pain free shit. I think I thought about that. Using shit it actually does work. I thought about using it on my shoulder. Feels good, dude. My shoulder is fucked up. I rubbed some shit on my foot a while ago. Yeah, felt nice. Mm-hmm. It's got menthol in it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I like that. Maybe I'll do a little a dabberino in the asshole. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pretend I'm being eaten out by a demon. <laughs> Put a dab right in the middle of your ass. Just right on the tip of my asshole. Stand in front of a fan. And then just beat <laughs> off on all fours while listening to Judas Priest. <laughs> Grinder! Looking for meat! Grinder! Something to eat! Suck my penis, suck That's my a great penis, song. Suck my penis. It's so funny that that became a gay sex app. Mm-hmm. It was perfect. It was meant Did to be. Did they name it after the priest song? Of course. I mean, it's possible. They had to have, dude. Hell yeah. Now we're, now we're jamming. All right, doggies. You're listening <laughs> to the Gay Ass Podcast. <laughs> gay Ass Podcast. <laughs> I'm Luis Gay Gomez. <laughs> With my uh, co-host, Fag Amico. <laughs> Faggot. <laughs> uh, Faggot. <laughs> That's right, Fag. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Gay-ass dude of the week. Gay-ass dude of the week. This guy, uh... This guy got caught sucking a million dicks. <laughs> Get this, when cops showed up, he sucked them off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shannon, with your big gross titties, <laughs> your gross tight pussy, <laughs> why don't you pull up some pictures of boys and take a look at <laughs> on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the gay ass podcast. Yeah, Zach Amico, they call him the gay sex haver. <laughs> <laughs> Zach uh, they call him the gay guy. Zach Miko, they call him the gay guy. <laughs> Just not thinking about it at all. <laughs> no, no, barely. <laughs> the fucking the homo. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. The guy who has gay sex. Yeah. Dude, I love it when the jokes are like, just airballing it from half court. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zach, uh, just, the gay Woo! Zach. Just fucking chucking it and <laughs> smashing the ball through the window of the garage. <laughs> I'm fucking from downtown, baby! <laughs> <laughs> fucking up your yeah. house. Mm-hmm. Your dad getting mad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> getting your dad's in. like, Come on, man. You're 26 years old. <laughs> Please move out. Please move out. I keep taking the basketball hoop down. You keep You're putting it back the up. the reason I have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Your grow room gave me cancer. Damn, I'm worried. <laughs> My mom had got all these fucking, uh, like, uh, fertility drugs to have me, her beautiful boy. Uh-huh. And I worry that I might cause her health problems, dude. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm out here providing, podcasting. Yeah. Damn. Grow- Can a groom give you cancer, though? A what? Can a grow room actually give you cancer? A grow room give you cancer? No yeah, way, dude. bro. Because I'm, I'm growing fucking Well, eddies. the truth is, is, like, everything gives you cancer, and we're all... 
overly preoccupied with this fear of death. I mean, your body is meant to be used and disposed of. Oh. You can't take it so with you. So life is like a dom and you're a sub. No, not even. It's nature like your body's... You, yeah, Mother Nature your, uses your, your little pussy. Your body is like... Your a, body's a pussy and Mother Nature's a dick. No, your body's like a buffet. Okay. Your body's like a very nice meal. I like this. So you far. can't preserve it. You just have to fucking enjoy mm-hmm. it and one day it's going to turn to shit. Oh, that's good, You man. consume yourself. I like that. Yeah. So savor it, but don't try to save it. You know, Why would you? you don't want it to get cold. Leftovers <laughs> yeah, taste like shit. That's a good point. That's what an old person is. Is yeah. leftovers. It's You're leftovers. saying it's an eighty-nine-year-old lady's leftovers. It's a buffet with a finite amount of food. Because a buffet, like you get more food constantly. It's a nice meal, man. It's a nice meal. It's not a buffet. That's what he said at first. Come on, man. It was nice. That was nice. Uh, you got to ruin it with asking questions. I think we can uh, attain Zen. What do you think it is then, Adam? What do you think life is like? I think we just have to reject our egos. <laughs> Shut up. Do you think the guy who named Big Ben <laughs> wanted to have sex with a guy named Ben? Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. And he just want like he's like you know, because like, it doesn't make any sense. Where the fuck ben, is a ben. clock named Ben? ben Show me one other clock in the world that what has if, a name. What if the guy's mm. name? What if the guy's dick's name? How did that ben? even come up? They're like, "Whoa, what a great clock! What's its name?" <laughs> mm. <laughs> Who asked that guy that? <laughs> yeah, he wanted to sit on all of Ben. Ben, yeah. did you see my new clock that I made? <laughs> Dude, I was watching Jeopardy the other day. <laughs> did I show you that video? Which one? Well, there was two good things on Jeopardy. One that was like, and these are old episodes. Oh yeah, during the Hulu. Super Bowl, you were sending us Jeopardy clips. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was one where it was like, uh, it's like, uh, "Hi, I'm Mark Giffords. My wife Gabrielle Giffords. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, 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 He's yeah, like, yeah, he's insane. like to raise money for victims of this massacre in this Connecticut town. Yeah. And it's like you got Gabrielle Gifford's husband to come on Jeopardy to ask a fun question about, about Santa. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. I mean That's it's like insane. it's fucking insane that they would have the audacity to ask him and then he'd be like, Oh yeah, I'll help out Jeopardy. Yeah, that'll yeah, be fun. What am I asking about? Tahiti yeah. or the right? The, they had the to capital. Do <laughs> Gabriel Gifford said no. I'm Gabriel Gifford. Uh, and then, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I thought we would all be on board with that. Sorry, <clears throat> sorry. No, no problem, man. It's okay. You see the video of the Down syndrome guy testifying before Congress? No, about making abortion, like getting rid of abortion. He's saying that you shouldn't. Well, the timing was weird because it's like. You know, he's saying, like, you know, because there's screening now for, for babies with Down syndrome. Right. But it comes at the same time as this third trimester bill. But, like, you can find out if a kid has Down syndrome in the second trimester. People mm-hmm. already terminate pregnancies based on, like, the Down syndrome thing. Mm-hmm. So it's, like, it, it's like odd timing, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but it's it's funny because the guy wrote a better speech than I could. <laughs> it's a good speech. You know. I mean, and, Did he and, write the speech? And, I, he's reading it all off a piece of paper. And you've heard me read things on this show a million times, mm-hmm. and I can't do it. And it's like, is he even retarded? Right. I yeah. mean, I guess it's got Paul's like flag. he uh, doesn't even uh, really need to say dollar. anything. The fact that he's like reading something off a piece of paper and is way more convincing. I've never had. I've never been able to persuade anybody to the degree <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. retarded man is making people say we should rethink abortion. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Did he? Ma- was he just late term, or does he mean all abortions? He just wants people to not get abortions because he did make an appointment. He's like, I don't want to make abortion illegal. I just want to make it unthinkable. Interesting. Yeah. So just shame? Yeah, shame or I guess like I, 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 like educate people on on like what, you know, that how Down syndrome people like they can live like relatively normal lives or whatever. Oh, does he mean abortion of Down syndrome people? Or just yeah, I think he means oh, of Down syndrome okay, people. Okay, that makes sense. Well, it doesn't because it, once you say they're Down syndrome people in the womb, then you've added given personhood to a fucking baby. So, well, I just mean like. No, there's no way, there's no, no way to wade on. into this yes, argument. There is. Well, I'm saying is people that, that only screen are like, I'm going to kill this retarded baby. So it's a baby now, and you're killing it. Yeah. So abortion is killing a baby. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? I don't give a fuck. I'll <laughs> fucking kill a baby as long as so that I can continue my life. But no, I mean, I just mean like, if you're the reason you're doing this is because you're screening for Down syndrome, then I get that argument. You're just like the same way you're like. You want if you could screen for having a sexy kid, ki- let's kill all ugly kids. You know. So what I mean? women like, shouldn't be able to choose. No, they should. I haven't been listening. What do you? Go- 
<clears throat> you're saying that you shouldn't. So a woman just, should be able to choose unless there's specific conditions that you feel are like inappropriate. No, I just say I see his argument of being like I want, I don't want it, abortion to be illegal so that people can still choose. But if someone is doing it just to get mm-hmm. a retarded baby out of their out of there, I'm pro abortion, pro. I'm pro at all. So you're saying women should be educated before they make the decision? No, I'm just saying I see what the fuck... I see what he means mm. in terms of saying he wants to make abortion unthinkable, I guess in the case of only aborting a retarded kid or whatever. So if it's a normal person, like it's a normal baby that's healthy, that person should die. It's not a baby, Nick. Stav said it's a baby. I don't give a fuck. I'm not actually I arguing. Know. I don't know why you're applying your... Trademark Why are we internet arguing arguments about to me. Right I'm not applying my trademark internet your, arguments. Your style of like and asking if, questions and following up on the things <laughs> I said. <laughs> Prosecutorial. For all this kind of gay stuff. Very Kamala Harris. <laughs> yeah, here. yeah. Look, I didn't, I didn't force you to have a fucking opinion on the thing. You decided to offer one. I'm Did just saying. Like, no, the video. I'm of, just saying I see what the retarded guy's saying. Did you see the video of fucking Kamala Harris talking about? <clears throat> Sending in DAs to have like parent teacher conference meetings and like to sit there and make them think that they're going to be prosecuted and thrown in jail. No. Of like the truant kids and like laughing about it. It is fucking she terrifying. Sucks. Corey Bo- Brewer, Booker. Well, anyways, Corey, back Corey to Brewer. the Down syndrome guy. <laughs> the Down syndrome guy, I will say this. Six, seven wins. He does, he does make one point in the video. He's like, there's studies that show that like Down syndrome people and their families experience a higher level of happiness than anyone else. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we should all have Down syndrome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But they can't, like, don't their families have to support them forever and shit? Yeah. Who but cares? Like, Down syndrome people are like, the, yeah, but they're, we'll, the, they're, they're the nicest people in the world. I'm sure. Yeah. Except for in that movie, Paul Town, Jeff Town. Yeah, that's the one guy, Paul and that's why, he's, that's why he's a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way you get famous as a retarded guy is being a mean asshole. <laughs> The one mean one. The oddity. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Legalize it. I don't understand how we're still, like, relitigating abortion. I thought it's been the law for, like, 50 years now. We should be able to get borscht up, man. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Let a gal choose whatever she does with her puss. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's not Take that, you retarded guy. And the inside of her pussy. Shut up, man. Every it's part not of, inside of the pussy. Every part of her the pussy. The baby isn't inside She of the gets pussy. to choose about every part of her Dude, pussy. Probably why you're bad at fucking is because you don't even understand the anatomy of her pussy. He's like, then you nutted the pussy and then the baby grows into the pussy. It grows inside the pussy. Everyone knows that. The baby's maybe hanging on to the maybe lips. Maybe if you studied the, a, a woman's internals. Mm. Uh, dude, yeah, meticulously. A, to me, the inside of the woman's body <clears throat> is even sexier than the outside. Mm. I'm studying every... Fu- I'm studying, you know, 5.75 inches deep at a time, pal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got a little submarine in there. A yellow submarine. <laughs> yeah. Stav loves pissing all over his own Johnson. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I'm, I'm not stopping until my cock is golden. <laughs> <laughs> I love calling it a Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Just going into Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, is there any place a fella could uh, pull his Johnson out in here and <laughs> take a leak? Yeah, I was wondering if you got a room where I could pull my Johnson so out. Pull my Johnson out. And I'm have trying a to take a leak out of my, my freak, wife's face. My friggin' Johnson over here. <laughs> my friggin' Johnson is ready to puse. My friggin' <laughs> puse. <laughs> ready to take a puse. Ready to take a puse. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to speak. Um, I have to go to therapy. Oh, do you? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have to I, eat something, dude. I'm starving. Mm-hmm. You could eat my nuts. What? what I can't. What happens to you at therapy? What do you mean? What's going on there? I'm just talking about my issues. But I, 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 I know you, and I'm like, I can't imagine what's. I'm like, I wish I could just. Yeah, I'm, but Nick, there's a different dynamic between a therapist and his. Sub. I can't imagine that there is. No, de- you see him once a week, and only this <clears throat> one co- context. You went to therapy. Be more open. You're just your therapist being like, "Would you say that's sick or it's gay?" Nick went to therapy. <laughs> once. I would honestly say you it's pretty gay pretty that my gay. dad, yeah. that my relationship with my dad is pretty gay. <laughs> um, I'm back in the therapy doesn't work camp. Yeah, but you're you stupid. went one time there. Yeah, and you know what I also did as I I started going back to the gym and I feel a million times better. All Whatever, right. you should That's do good. both. Why it's not, not one or the other. I'm gonna start, dude, because my health insurance is about to kick in. Anyway, go go see uh, February 11th. We got a funny mom's coming up. It's also my 30th birthday. Yeah, um, we're gonna have a big celebration. 
I'm no on cake this... though, guys. No cakes, no desserts. Oh, nothing. Man. On February 16th, I'll be in, We're in putting the West boy Hartford. On a diet. I will do. I will eat whatever I please. No one We're will giving tell me Stav what to eat. his birthday punches. You should honestly give me a month where I have control of all. Your Absolutely food. not. Give me a week. You will have no control over anything. He's gonna I get. Do. He would get so cranky. Dude. Yeah, you have I know. to deal with cranky stuff. And just he would be just <laughs> such a baby about he it. He just goes so. <laughs> you imagine putting him on a diet? <laughs> It'd be like a cat in heat. Um, so he's just, just fucking. He's <laughs> just like chewing on all the furniture. It's just heat yeah, marks dude, all over everything. Don't leave leather around me when I'm on a diet, dude. I used to be beef. <laughs> <laughs> um, Somebody sucked on all that's the candles. Cow to me. <laughs> All right, uh, on the 16th, February 16th, I'm in Hartford. Uh, come check that out. And then on the 22nd, I'm coming come to Delaware. Come say I'm gay. Come say I'm gay. Come, come say, say I'm, gay. I'm gay with me. On February 22nd with Ian Fidance in Delaware. Mm. I'm bringing Ian's little bitch ass Ian back to his so Ian Vivance. Who's then on Funny Moms on the 11th? Joe Doesn't List. Joe uh, I don't know who else. But yeah, I got to go and to And then therapy. we got on the 25th Funny Moms again. Are you just uh, leaving right now? All right, well, that's the show, everybody. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.